Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone here in Spiritual Biz Success. How are you guys? This is the end of the year. We're beginning to wrap it up. It's right before Christmas. And so I just want to say, I know everyone keeps saying, what are you doing for 2020? What are your plans for 2020? And I know so many of you say, what I really want to do is to be able to step out as spiritual leader, my spiritual business. But it's a little nerve wracking, isn't it? To be able to step fully out. It's like that coming out of the spiritual closet makes everything like a little nervous. We begin to wonder, what, are, what will our family say? They probably think you're a little crazy already, don't they? <laughs> what will your friends say that you're creating this spiritual business? Are they going to look at you and say, oh, like, oh, you're just, you're just creating a, a, a business. Like that should just be for fun. Like that's just your spiritual gifts. Like, what do you mean spirituality and money? I think I've heard all the little remarks people can make about creating a spiritual business. So I totally get it. And I get the, the, the kind of trepidation you might have about stepping out. Plus, so many of you just know that you want to help the people. Like all you really know is I want to help the people and you're uncertain about how to actually help the people. So I totally totally get it. It is a bit nerve wracking to be able to step out and tell your friends and family, this is what I'm doing. Hey, Suzanne, we have two, two Suzannes. Hey, Suzanne, I am Alman. How are you? So guys, so yeah, so being able to step out as a spiritual leader, I actually see that being the biggest thing that holds people back even once they're in spiritual biz boot camp because they're nervous about it. They're like, what's the family going to say? And they end up having like all these different profiles and on their Facebook book, Facebook group, or even in their Facebook personal page, they're hiding certain comments because they don't want their friends to know. And I get it. I get that it's tough. I get that it's nerve wracking being able to fully step out because the friends and family, they really judge us, don't they? They start to look and they, they make faces. They tell you it's not going to work. You can't make money with your spiritual gifts. Like, what are you thinking? Stick to having a real job. How many times have our fans, friends and family told us that? Oh, you don't have a real job. You're trying to create a spiritual business. And it's, it, it makes us nervous. And if you are brand new at this, I can totally see why that would be holding you back. But here's the thing. You have a gift that needs to be out there. You have a gift that you really were given by source. And it is your duty because you actually received this gift before you came in. You, you actually made an agreement before you came into this dimension that you were going to use that gift. So it's actually a duty that you have to be able to step out as a spiritual leader and be able to shift consciousness on this planet. And even though the people on the wings might be making comments about, oh, this is your spiritual gift. Like, how could you create a business around it? Here's the thing. You have the opportunity to work with me and my team. And, they, and then you can turn around and tell your family and be like, yes, and I know exactly how to do it. Because that's what we show people every single day is how to create your spiritual business, how to tap into you. Now, again, like I said, one of the biggest things I see, aside from worrying about our friends and family, is that a lot of times the idea of spiritual leader, we're like, wow, what is that? Like, what, how do we step out of that? We just want to help the people. Well, how do you help the people? Well, the biggest way to help the people is to have a spiritual business because that's how you create. It's like a vehicle for success and a vehicle for reaching people around the globe. You have to have a business in place. How else are they going to find you? How are they going to know you? So being able to to step out with that business, again, I totally get it's nerve wracking, but that one little final hurdle is that a lot of times people are afraid to step out as that leader. There's a sense of responsibility that comes with stepping out as a spiritual leader. I totally get it. People look at you, want to know what's going on, the checking the vibration that you're holding. I totally get it. And that seems to be a big piece that has people like wobbling for the step out. So what I've done is I've created something called spiritual business leadership. And it's for the people who are not ready for boot camp, who are just trying to figure out their gifts and just know they want to help the people. And it's a six month program. I'm going to put a link in here next week so you guys can start to peruse what it is, but it'll get you everything that you need to really get your confidence up so that you can step out as a spiritual leader. And it's kind of like your prep before boot camp. So it's all the things you need to know before getting into boot camp. And it's also very much about, you know, being able to master your vibration around money. Because if you don't have your vibration around money mastered, then you're having an issue being a spiritual leader because money is just energy. And when you're not in flow, that's when the money stops. You got to look around and figure out what's going on. But when you get in flow, that's your full connection with source. And that means abundance shows up for you. So all of these things are keeping a lot of you from stepping out as a spiritual leader. And I totally get it. I see it in people that even come into boot camp. 
So just know that we've got your back. So Spiritual Busy Leadership will be coming out and it's active uh, probably like next week. I'll be posting something, giving you guys a little more information on it. But at the end of the day, whether you're in leadership or whatever it is that you're doing, like know that the gift that you received from source, that it's your duty to get out there with it. You have to get over the fears and stop looking at the 3D reality and thinking I can't do it because we know you can. I know you can do it. I've seen so many people do it already. It's amazing to watch people who didn't have a business who were charging 50 or 60 or $70 an hour now making six figures. And it's a beautiful, amazing thing to see. And it's totally doable. Technically you've got a secret weapon. That's me. So when your family says it's not possible, you can say that's not true. So that note, just know it's your duty. Breathe into it. Source has got your back. We've got your back. I'm going to post more about spiritual business leadership. For those of you that aren't quite ready yet, you'll see something coming out next week. And be ready to really step into that 2020 is a completely different year than 2019 in the fact that you are now stepping into your power, stepping into your role as a spiritual leader, and being able to truly help people around the world. All right, guys, let me see if there's any comments. Hey, Anthony. Oh, and there's Kristen. Kristen seems to always catch me. <laughs> guys, how's it going? Hey, Oren, how's it going? All right, guys, I don't see any comments and questions, so I'm going to wrap it up. I'll see you guys in the next video and have a Merry Christmas if I don't happen to see you next week. Bye-bye.